I mean, explain to the people a little bit more about, you know, you keep mentioning it and you going into it a little bit, but, you know, you got the logo on your shirt and everything like that, the Thunderdome Network. Explain to people I- I- I exactly what the Thunderdome is, what it's about, and, and, and where you trying to go with it. Yeah, well, it's more or less, that's a part of our culture. So, you know, uh, it's, it's, you had the Thunderdome to be a part of this tribe, you, you know. Uh, so in our community, that, like I said, that's how we resolve problems. So... So say it's a group of individuals, we all from this section or whatever, and we got issues, even if it's another section, like say, uh, like how they have them beats right now, they might pull up with uh, 10, 15 individuals, and we got 10, 15 individuals, and we all line it up. Or like when there's court tanks, we all line it up with a Thunderdome, you know, like going to tank, where you from? So yeah, I'm gonna need that. You peel out, they'll lock up. You might need it with him, boom. You might take two or three phases in the tank. Boom, then they lock up or whatever. Everybody sorting it out and everybody getting their phase together. Boom, then we good. Somebody yeah. else coming to the tank. Hey, where you from? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need that. You know what I mean? And, uh, you Thunderdome. And like you said, a lot of them dudes that they squabble with, like I see homies that got uh, uh, certain hoods whacked out on their on on faces, on their arms and shit. And I seen them take those phase and I seen them become friends with some of those hoods that was whacked out on their mm. arms. You know what I mean? They felt that way, but they took multiple phases with some of those individuals. Even when they seen him, they're like, yeah, uh, bro over there, he from Hoover, but yeah, he hood, he took that phase, he, he squabbled up, or yeah, bro over there from gangster, he hitting hard, that nigga hitting hard, you know what I mean? So, mm. like I said, you, you'll learn that mutual respect. You'll get that respect by taking that phase, you yeah. know? And we can't accept nothing less than that, you know what I mean? If you're really from where I'm from, in, in the section, it, you still stick to those rules, you know what I mean? And it, it resolved. It, the, the, the bullshit came in when niggas got above the rules and start killing each other. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? As long as there was no loyalty amongst friends. Like, we friends, we family, uh, it should never come to gun violence. It should never come to, you know, it should always be a fade. If, if you're not big enough, your uncle gonna take it. You know what I mean? I, I done seen some youngsters, I said, man, call your daddy. Yeah. You too small, man, call your daddy. You know what I mean? I wanna tell you this in front of your daddy. You know what I mean? Cause if I beat your ass, your daddy not gonna accept this. Your daddy not gonna accept you going home with this black eye I'm about to give you. Mm. So call your daddy. I'm gonna call my daddy. Daddy get there like, oh cowboy. I said, look, bro, I'm telling your son if I catch him over there, I'm gonna die this motherfucking eye. Mm. Come back, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. I'm telling you this in front of your daddy. If I catch your son back here smoking his weed in, in, in high school, you might allow it at home, but I'm gonna die this eye. I'm let you know this in front of your daddy. <laughs> so we gotta understand it. Yeah. Oh catch you back here yeah yeah you know what i mean simple as that you know what i mean no disrespect but i catch your son back here because he's, he's being disrespectful i'm gonna hop that gate i'm gonna I'm whoever back there i'm dumb jump back there, i'm dying eyes yeah, yeah you know what i mean so like i said i don't care if your daddy allowed to do it around the corner don't do it on this property yeah yeah no man, man all right you broke it down you definitely broke it no. down bro you know uh uh hey, everybody who is there uh continue to to write we, in a little bit we're gonna read a little bit of what's going on in the chat um again if you ain't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel also subscribe to our our clips channel um we'll be uh you know we whatever hey right in the comment you know we want we want people to participate a lot more when it come down to that you know um you know we we have a lot of viewers you know the comments is picking up but we want we want you guys to we want to hear what the people got to say you know we want to make sure that we always communicate and connecting with the people so uh so yeah if you if, if you won't write in the comments and um yeah we'll get to it um you know what i want to ask you too and and this is still a little bit on it but just your thoughts from it even though it shouldn't, you know, people shouldn't be crashing out and everything like that on the internet, right? Yeah. Do you believe that it was it was it was wrong for that conversation to be recorded the way that it was? Like, do you see a violation on that end too to record a private conversation between two individuals and everything like that, and then put it out? You know, yeah. like like which? How do you see that part of it? Yeah, they, like I said, number one they in it for the click so when somebody stumbled across that nobody knew nothing you know uh like i said they put it out there even the titling and all that shit. i i think adam did some shit with the dude and he even had the rainbow on there when they did the rainbow thing I he think interviewed that, the dude who recorded it no 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 i'm saying when he when they had the even in it their thumbnails and shit. Yeah. i think he, even adam had some shit with his cast on there and they had the rainbow and everything with it you know what i mean that's like you know, if I came to work, I'd be like, hey, Paul, man, it was that rainbow shit I seen on on, on, on my picture or some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, so, you know, he just, 
you know, uh, you know what I mean? If you yeah. see certain little clips and certain things, you're gonna be like, damn, hey, damn, Adam, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, it's all a setup. Like I said, he get the he get them niggas in their rooms. You know, I got some shit with these niggas in these rooms, man. And they be talking like a motherfucker. You know, uh, yeah. it ain't hey, it ain't cool. I, I'm surprised. Like I said, uh, them niggas. Them niggas got to be the feds. I, can't, I don't know nobody that could talk like that. I don't know nobody on earth that can just talk the shit that they be talking. Uh, you know what I mean? If you ain't the feds, you show sure working with them because I don't know nobody can talk that shit they be talking on. on, on. It's a live broadcast, ain't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Millions of people, you know what I mean? I, I don't understand it, man. But uh, like I said, I, I'm in the solutions, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Quit popping that bullshit. Quit leading our kids in the wrong direction if you're not willing to step up and take that fade and, and show these kids that you's a real man. Yeah. Quit yeah. popping like you're a real man. Show them you're a real man. Then maybe, okay, well, yeah, he took that fade. Uh, yeah, then, you know, we'll follow this dude. But if yeah. you ain't willing to take that fade, quit popping and telling the kids they got to take a fade. You yeah. know what I mean? If you're not willing to do it, don't, don't, uh, don't pop it. Quit politicking. You know what I mean? Quit, uh, because I'm tired of going to funerals, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I'm not a big internet guy, you know what I mean? My little homies be like, hey man, what's up with this? And I be like, man, I don't believe that shit, you know what I mean? And I hear all these internet discussions all day, and I be like, man, look at these niggas just wasting time on these internet goofies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can, I hate wasting my breath on, on goofy shit, you know what I mean? But, you know, niggas sitting around the shop talking about Adam, man, fuck Adam, you know what I mean? He's sitting there, you know, uh, uh, Stirring, stirring up shit, you know what I mean? Fuck whack, he's in his stirring up shit, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't just me that feel that way, you know? The yeah. bloods feel that way, the crips feel that way, just, you know, in general, grown men feel that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the grown people, we don't we don't like what we see. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The ones that's grown, <laughs> grown men that's out here for change, we don't, we don't like that shit. <laughs> In the ring, my eye on the mission At 11 years old, this right here was my vision Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention The haters they can hate, as long as they listen To the words that I say as my tongue keeps twisting Heavyweight flow, you not in my position